Ever wondered what happens when a country's favorite app suddenly goes offline? In Brazil, WhatsApp is more than a messaging tool. It's an essential part of daily life. Between 2015 and 2018, several court-ordered shutdowns left millions of users scrambling. Today, we'll explore what caused these blackouts, how people reacted, and what it all means for our reliance on technology. But Brazil isn't alone. Similar challenges are happening around the world. Let's start with why WhatsApp is such a crucial app in Brazil. For millions of Brazilians, it's the most affordable and accessible way to communicate. Traditional SMS and phone calls are costly, but WhatsApp uses minimal data, making it a preferred choice across all income levels. Small businesses rely on it to manage their operations, from coordinating deliveries to processing payments. It's also a lifeline for families, helping them stay connected across cities or even continents. For many, WhatsApp is not just another app. It's their primary connection to the digital world. Now imagine waking up one day and finding that WhatsApp has been blocked. This wasn't a hypothetical situation for Brazilians. It happened multiple times between 2015 and 2018 when courts ordered the app to be shut down because of legal disputes over data access in criminal cases. The shutdowns led to widespread confusion and frustration. People turned to other social media platforms to vent, and memes about life without WhatsApp quickly went viral. Businesses struggled to keep running, and many reverted to using SMS, which added unexpected costs. These shutdowns highlighted the risks of relying so heavily on a single app. By 2018, WhatsApp was no longer just a tool for personal or business use. It had become a key player in Brazil's political landscape. During the presidential election, the platform was flooded with misinformation. Fake news stories circulated widely, shaping public opinion and fueling political tensions. Some of these stories were traced back to external sources, showing how easy it was to manipulate public sentiment through encrypted messages. This raised serious concerns about WhatsApp's role in spreading fake news and its impact on democracy. Brazil isn't the only country facing these challenges. In India, WhatsApp has played a significant role during elections, spreading political misinformation that influences millions. Similarly, countries like Uganda and Myanmar have experienced government-imposed internet shutdowns to control protests and dissent. These incidents highlight a global issue. When societies rely heavily on private platforms, they become vulnerable to both technical failures and political misuse. The public response to these events was divided. Some people called for stricter regulations to prevent misuse of the platform, while others criticized the government for blocking such an essential service. Businesses in particular voiced concerns about the economic impact of these shutdowns as they were left without their primary means of communication. Media outlets debated the broader implications, questioning whether private tech companies had become too powerful. The discussion wasn't just about WhatsApp. It was about the growing influence of digital platforms in everyday life. Although this story focuses on Brazil, the lessons are relevant worldwide. More and more, we depend on private companies for services that feel essential. Social media and messaging apps have become key communication tools, but they also come with risks. When things go wrong, who should be held accountable? Should governments step in to regulate these platforms, or should companies take more responsibility for issues like misinformation and service outages? These are questions that every country will have to confront as technology continues to evolve. Brazil's WhatsApp blackouts offer a powerful case study in the complex relationship between technology, society, and governance. They reveal the benefits of digital tools, but also expose their vulnerabilities. Have you ever experienced a major app outage? Do you think we're too dependent on these platforms? If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.